Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So throughout the course of last year, we had a look at a new feature that Microsoft was testing in the early preview versions of Microsoft Edge called Copilot Vision. And this is just a screen grab I took from the previous video I posted on the feature, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen because since I posted this video back in March, I see the feature once again has disappeared out of Edge Canary. But this will give you a good idea as more or less what to expect. Now, Copilot Vision, just as a quick recap, is a multimodal AR feature that allows you to share your screen, giving you advice on web pages you're viewing and suggestions while you browse. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft has announced that Copilot Vision is now available to all Microsoft Edge users for free. With Microsoft saying over on X, Copilot Vision is out now free in Microsoft Edge. And then they give you a brief description. Now, this is according to Microsoft. I'm quoting. It says, it can literally see what you see on screen if you opt in. It will think out loud with you when you're browsing online. No more over explaining, copy pasting or struggling to put something into words. That's according to Microsoft. Now, the feature is rolling out, but it seems that it's on a controlled rollout in the stable version because if I head over to the site that will enable the feature in the browser, you can try it. Turn on vision here. So if, you, if it is available in your area, the feature will actually be enabled in the browser when you click there. Now, not available as yet in my part of the world because you can see it's going to be rolling out in my region soon according to Microsoft. But if you click on continue, this will give you a very good idea as more or less what to expect. So you get this like floating chat box, which will give you a kind of a hovering effect in the browser. So even if I scroll down, you will see that it stays kind of like a widget in the browser when you are looking through a website and, and the like. So that will just give you a general idea as more or less what to expect. And then if you click on it, you can ask it questions and then you can Copilot can interact with the website and the web page and, um, and as mentioned, give you advice and give you suggestions while viewing different websites. Now, there is a couple of things just to take note of regarding Copilot Vision. Is that it was only available previously to Copilot Pro subscribers. So for some reason, Microsoft now is pushing this out for free. But at this stage, there are a couple of limitations. It only works with a couple of websites currently, which would be Wikipedia, Targets.com, TripAdvisor, Amazon.com, and so on. So not all websites will give you the functionality. But go if it is available in your region, go test it out. Maybe go over to Wikipedia and try it out. That will give you a very good idea as what this feature will do and apparently it won't work on websites with sensitive content and paywalls. Now if you are worried about privacy because obviously I have found with AR you either like it or you don't. According to Microsoft Copilot Vision is completely opt-in. So you don't have to use the feature in Microsoft Edge. And according to Microsoft, it says that it doesn't store or use any data from Copilot Vision, whether that's your images, text, or conversations, or audio for model training. That's according to Microsoft. But nonetheless, just putting it out there, when this feature does become available in my region, maybe I can show you this in real time in a follow-up video, but just wanted to put it out there because this was only available to Copilot Pro subscribers. And as mentioned, Microsoft has announced it's completely free now. Um, for your average home user using the Edge browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.